grab a cup of tea and let me bring you up to date. Go on, I'll wait. I wasn't going to shoot an update today because I've had so many updates lately. And I thought, give my viewers a rest. <laughs> but something just happened and I said, this has to go on record. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But there's a lot of things I wanted to tell you that are coming up and also things that have been going on and I wanted to bring you up to date. First of all, I got a new hat and thought I would be optimistic and wear it today in hopes that the sun might come out. I have just finished spraying all of my tomatoes and I was going to count how many plants I had and I forgot to do that. I'll put that on the screen. I wanted to point out a few things that uh, people have written to me recently that have made an impression on me and that I appreciate and wanted to share. Because you might not necessarily see a comment that someone else leaves underneath one of my videos. Now, I think it was my very last video or so <laughs> when I threw away the root balls of the sweet grass from those planters. And the creator at Kalen Films, who watches every one of my videos, wrote me immediately and said, don't throw out the root ball. The root ball has so much going on in it, you don't want to throw those in the green bin. You want to either compost them at the very least or plant compost back into the top and plant in that root ball. I do appreciate all of your comments, all of your helpful comments, and I do take them to heart. I don't always have the time to try everything that people suggest and I think a lot of the times suggestions don't really apply to my garden. It doesn't freeze in my garden. I am in Los Angeles near the ocean and the spores just fall to the ground and are very eager to jump back on the plants at the first opportunity, the first little gust of wind or drop of rain. <laughs> Pruning is essential to keep lots of air around your tomato plants, but there was one plant I did not prune. I just let it go wild, and I thought, let's see what happens. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what happens. It sprawled out all over there, and the leaves are absolutely covered in white polka dots. So what did I really get out of not pruning that plant? I wanted to give a shout out to one of my super fans in Ashland, Kentucky. Angela and her husband watch all of my videos and even though they've suffered injuries and have physical disabilities, they have used a lot of my ideas in their garden and have been inspired by me and I want to give anyone a shout out who has been inspired by me. So please let me know if I have Juliana HM in Germany is loaded with great advice. She's very knowledgeable. If you see her comments under my videos, please take notice. You probably noticed we got the lavender planted on Thursday. And speaking of Thursday, I was not going to shoot a Thursday workday video because, you know, it was just routine maintenance that everyone has to do. But in the afternoon, things got interesting, and so I grabbed the camera. <laughs> and one of the things we did was plant this, because Eric walked in on Thursday with this planter that someone was throwing away, and he snatched it for me. <laughs> I am leaving on Friday to go to Tennessee, and I have a one-way ticket, <laughs> because I don't know when I'm coming back. But I have to be back by the 12th, because I'm going down to Oceanside to see Liz Carpenter and see their fabulous garden down there. Well, let's just check out what we did on Thursday. Can we move it out, this cactus? That's too heavy. Oh. Let's put a plastic bag over it. Good. We don't need dishwashing soap on old man cactus. Okay, now water. Oh, you're already uh, finished with the soap? soap. Okay, ready. Okay. I need to clean it all. It's 
doesn't have a lot of room to grow. I think wood is going to look better on the brick. It's not bad there. It is a corner and it will get some sun. Wanna put a water? Yes, please. Please watch my epic cooking video that I just uploaded, Father's Day Brunch. Not only do I share my quiche recipe of 30 years or so, I do the whole meal. It's a whole meal cooking video and I really hope you check that out. The story right now in my garden is figs, olives, some tomatoes, the burgundy bush beans, oh my, I have harvested three and a half pounds. The plants are supposed to produce all summer. I find that very hard to believe because the leaves are already starting to not look so perfect. Three and a half pounds out of a three by six foot raised bed. Now that's remarkable. My fig trees, I have two. I had a big brown turkey fig you'll remember from last year and I made a lot of fig jam from that tree and I had a few desert figs because you may recall I transplanted that fig tree from a pot into the ground early in uh, 2017 I think but oh my gosh I thought well this is just gonna be a little fig tree and it's gonna produce little figs and a few of them and oh no it is catching up to the brown turkey fig I don't fertilize the fig trees at all. I don't water them directly because I can't even get in there. It's a complete jungle. So all they get is city water through the drip line. And not a lot of that because I'm very stingy. So, oh my, uh, you know, when I first thought about planting a fig tree, someone said, oh, you can't plant a fig tree. They get huge. And I said, oh, well, I've got years to worry about that. <laughs> well, I think uh, between my lemon and my orange tree and my two fig trees, there's not really going to be room for anything else in this tiny front yard. Anyway, I just want to show you this fig. You see what I'm looking at? Look at this. Oh my goodness, it's ripe. first fig of the year. Wow. I think we should weigh it. And I just happen to have some prosciutto. <laughs> I bought it yesterday. Breakfast! So that is... Let's see... Three-eighths of a pound? I did not expect this, but I cut it open and it looks really weird. So that just doesn't look that appetizing to me.
I am going to give the worms a treat. I don't think the worms will be too picky about their fig. Someone also was curious as to whether I share produce with Eric, and the answer is yes. Sometimes there's nothing to share, and then other times there's stuff that I can share. So Thursday he went home with a big bag of lemons, and I still have, oh, I can't even lift this. I can lift it with my left hand. This, whoa, God, I thought it was a bee. <laughs> Don't scare me. I've got this many. <laughs> this is unrelated to gardening, but something very exciting happened to me this past week and I wanted to share it. One of the actors I really have admired for over 30 years is Jeremy Irons and he and Leslie Manville are doing a long day's journey in tonight in Los Angeles this week. And I went to the play on Tuesday night and I got to meet him afterwards and we got a photo. And he was very, very nice. And so was Leslie and it was a real highlight to get to meet them and spend a few minutes in their company. The next video that I edit will be my Phoenix video that I did last year that I never finished. And I owe it to all those beautiful gardens I visited to get that done. So look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking my videos and sharing them with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one.